happening in 2017. 2,000 years later. Letting the brand speak for itself. There's so much exciting stuff coming. Of course, I'm gonna be doing a full reveal video for you guys before the launch to show you everything. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I am so overwhelmed and blessed by the amazing response because I know that it took me way too long to do this and people wanted it years ago and I was really scared that I was too late and all of your love and support it means the world to me and I'm so excited you're so excited because guys I built a brom brom, brom. I built a bomb ass brand that I'm so proud of and I can't wait hello welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be all about the drama already surrounding Jaclyn Hill cosmetics now if you remember back in March I did a video on this there was a previous drama with her cosmetics company now it was announced again on trend mood and there was also drama on that page I'm going to get into everything as well there's also a bunch of concerns being brought up and questions being asked so I'm going to get into all that as well in the previous video the trend mood comment section under the announcement was filled with comments of people saying oh yeah it's not gonna happen been hearing this since 2014 since 2016 and she even advertised it in a video in 2016 which you just heard at the very beginning but one of the many differences between this video and my previous video is that there's campaign photos there's a launch date and she's saying that there's gonna be a reveal video very soon so anyway here is trend moods post Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, it's coming. It's happening this month. Jaclyn Hill is about to launch her own brand, and she did mention before that the first product will be a lipstick. Coming very soon. May will keep you updated. What are your thoughts? I will say that the ratio for positive versus negative feedback was a lot more positive this time around. It was a little more balanced actually because her Instagram that she created for Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics was not even active. The original bio said I've been working on this since April of 2014 and want it to be perfect. We'll be launching in 2017. I think part of the reason that the announcement got a lot more positive feedback this time around was because one, there's a launch date, and two, the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Instagram is actually active. It currently has four posts and the bio says, so rich, so buttery, so good. Sounds like a dinner roll description, doesn't it? And now on for the Instagram comments. The first comment reads, it's taken her this long to finally get it done and still the first product is only lipstick. I kind of expected an actual line. This comment reads, first of all, this looks like a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brushes collection picture that didn't make the cut. And the products are probably ones that didn't make the cut to release with the brushes and vault like a lipstick and possibly a highlighter. Next, then glosses, then a dewy mist in a can. <laughs> They just keep capitalizing on each other, and it's probably made in Morphe used factory and will be extremely close in consistency to all existing Morphe products. There, I said what I've been thinking all along. Another person commented, she missed her chance years ago, and another comment reads, in my opinion, she let herself be played by a big company. And yes, she made money out of it, but lost the love and trust of a lot of people who actually liked her. She would have been in a great position if she launched her brand when she initially had this idea. I don't know. Another person said, take my money. And another person commented and said, I don't even know what it is, but I'm ready to check it out. Come on, queen. Another person commented, everyone saying years later must think it's that easy to start a business. Another person wrote, I feel dealing with her own brand and not through someone else's, the products will be great. Someone else commented, I'm actually excited for this. And another person said, I've already been fooled about 1,737,493 times with a launching soon for her brand. I ain't falling for it this time. This next comment reads, yay, it's finally 2017. That comment made me laugh so hard because I remember when she first announced her makeup line and she was saying coming 2017 and then it was coming 2018 and now it looks like it's actually going to happen. But anyway, here's some more Instagram comments. This person wrote, your launching will be covered with James, Jeffrey, and the Tati drama, sweetie, not on the right time. Now just as a side note, this was announced during the peak of drama Geddon that happened last week. And by the way, I'm so happy that I'm not covering drama again and again. I mean, what did I do? Like 17 videos on that whole thing? Finally, thank God I can cover something else. <laughs> Alright, so another comment reads, better late than never, I guess. 
This next person said, Listen, at the end of the day, Jacqueline knows makeup, and yes, her second Morphe collab was hit or miss, but the first one was mad good. Y'all just hate her. These next three comments read, It's been 84 years. I've seen a post like this about 62 times and bored the house. Someone else wrote, Who asked for this? <laughs> And another comment reads, 10 years later, and someone else said, I want to see what she comes out with, but her track record is a little bit messy. Very true. The last comment that I'm going to read from Instagram says, Why can't we just let her do her thing without hating? She's been through a lot. It's not easy to balance personal life and work. Is it me or does this campaign look like what the original Vault campaign was supposed to be? I get the vibe that it was something that was scrapped in favor of the one that they used. I mean, this is so tacky. <laughs> and plus she's swinging from a diamond. So it's like the Morphe Vault campaign and Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball had a baby, thus giving birth to the Jaclyn Hill cosmetics aesthetic. Also, going back to that comment that I read where someone said that her track record is really messy, do you feel that if she launched this cosmetics line in 2016 that more people would have been excited for it? Because here we are in 2019, three years later, and she has like one of the worst track records in history for makeup collaborations in the beauty community. With Shilling Morphe, the 2017 Jacqueline and Morphe palette, there was tons of drama with that, and then with the vault in summer of 2018, had even even more drama. Plus, between 2016 and now, she's established a history of throwing brands under the bus, Becca Cosmetics, Makeup Geek, Sigma, and Gerard Cosmetics. And she blamed them when her launches flopped, that is, if she didn't outright ditch them before the collab was finalized, or when a bigger check came along, <coughs> Morphe. I mean, now that she has her own cosmetics company, that is, if it's not repackaged Morphe and she's 100% behind everything from the formulas to manufacturing, the colors, etc, etc, who is she gonna blame now? I mean, she blamed Becca for the quality of the eyeshadow palette despite saying that she tested the formula and was 100% involved with everything from beginning to end. Another thing, Jacqueline mentioned that her first product is gonna be a lipstick. Now, if you go back to that clip that I played in the very beginning of my video, she was wearing a nude lipstick, which is very similar to the nude lipstick that she's wearing in all these campaign photos. The clip that I played in the beginning of my video is from a video that she did on her channel in 2016. Now I saw some concerns floating around on Twitter as to whether or not it will be the same lipstick. Some raised concerns that she had lipsticks produced in that same color in 2016 and that it might be old stock. I don't know about that one and I sure as hell hope that's not the case because that would be really, really bad. Plus, I'd like to think that if she had them in 2016 ready to go, that she would have sold them already, but you never know. Another thing that I saw in both Trend Mood's posts and that I mentioned in my previous video is that there's a Jaclyn Cosmetics already taken despite her trademarking it. However, the company is from Switzerland, so there most likely won't be any issues since international lawsuits are not cheap, but it's always possible. And now on to a few tweets from her timeline. Someone tweeted at Jaclyn Hill and said, Jaclyn Hill took her sweet time, but girl, it's gonna be worth it. Jaclyn Cosmetics is coming, y'all. I'm effing pumped. Jaclyn responded, and I'm pretty sure this tweet is gonna be dredged up time and time again, especially if she has a lot of drama with regards to the quality of the makeup that she's going to be releasing. Anyway, she responded and said, It took a long-ass time, but I can say with 100% confidence that my brand is going to be incredible. That sounds familiar. She said that with the vault, her 2017 palette as well as the Becca eyeshadow palette. I'm interested to see how this turns out because like I said if there's a disaster who is she gonna blame it on? But anyway here's this next tweet and no I wasn't being funny with the thumbnail by making up a silly tweet because she actually did tweet this out. Yes my bitch ass is literally swinging on a diamond. <laughs> Also, I was curious to see what some of you thought about Jacqueline finally launching her cosmetics line, and this is what I said. How does everyone feel about Jaclyn Hill finally launching her makeup line? Do you think she's formulating it or will it be repackaged Morphe? Let me know down below because I might use your response in my video. Pretty Girl for Life said, As far as the formula goes, I believe she's going to have her own special high-quality formula. I don't think she would risk having poor-quality formula when it comes to her own brand because if it backfires, she won't be able to put the blame on anyone else like she always does. 
Sarah said, honestly, I think she'll have a lot of people looking for problems with either the product or the launch, but 100% she'll sell out quickly because she always had success with her product selling. Dossie's replied and said, probably Morphe, LOL or IDK. I purchased the first Jaclyn Hill palette and I had very high expectations from her. The second launch, I didn't get it just because of how horrible the reviews were. I just hope that she took her time and years to really put herself back up there, an amazing product. Glam over 35 said, To be fair, I'm not going to formulate an opinion until we actually see what she is releasing. I will say this, though, these sneak peeks are annoying. Allie said, if she came out with this in 2016 when I started getting into makeup, I might have been one of those who rushed to get it. Now, so much drama surrounds her every time she releases a product. I'm neutral about her, but the makeup line isn't interesting me. Harley said, I think it would be either made in the same factory or similar products to Morphe. After all, she hyped up Morphe so much. Leslie said, I'm more interested to see who will she blame if the product flops. Poisonous Paradox said, Underwhelmed, the hype for her makeup was over a long time and many Morphe collabs ago for me. I think it'll be repackaged Morphe. She's always obsessed with her formula. I won't buy anything at launch. I want reviews. Jester's Tricks replied and said, I mean, she's so late to the game and has such a reputation, good and bad, that I feel this is a waste of time. The market is oversaturated as it is and her products will likely be mediocre like the others. And the last tweet that I'm going to read comes from Nick Snyder from The Viewer's Voice, and he said, I think the campaign photo is awful. What is that wig? Does she not have a team of gays? LOL. Anyway, that is it for this video. I'm sure there will be more drama surrounding her line, so you can expect videos from me on this in the near future. Also, do you think that she's been spending all this time in the lab perfecting her formula, or do you think it's going to be repackaged Morphe? As always, let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching, take care, and I will see you all soon.